What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Moochun. Hello. All I gotta do is hit the ready button. There you go. There you go. You did it. Oh, we got a Calamity Bearer. That guy's pretty good. Good enough to take, I think. Giant Steel Double. Yeah, Bish. All right. Do it. Double them Giants. Still didn't open any comments. It's kind of like a 6 4. For four. It's a, yeah, it's literally a 6 4. Michael. But if he has friends. Those friends big too. Those friends big. We're cooking for dinner. Barbecue chickens. And burgers. Now we're doing both. Wait, how many times do we have to go over this? At least seven. Well, I'm probably about seven right now, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you really gotta you gotta repeat the same things to Michael because he know he know remembered too good. He know member good. Oh, Reckless Crew. Man, those guys are bangers. Card is actually unplayable in every format ever printed. <laughs> Formats aren't printed. Shut up. Got him. Kind of like Great Hall here. It's easily the best card in this pack. <laughs> I considered that, though. Sure. What are you doing, you big loud dog? Well, you should take some of that big overtime money and buy a Traeger. What is a Traeger? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I know Chris Traeger from Parks and Rec. <laughs> oh, it's like a smoker, I guess? Oh, Agar? Oh, wow. Rish Car, Agar. Definitely take an Agar. Jeez, that's third pick Agar? What did they take instead? Probably something stupid. Do you want this pig egg? This pig trigger? I mean, if you're gonna get a trigger, you might as well get the sweet pig one. It's only a couple hundred bucks more, right? Who knows, man? Look at those lands, bro. So, I gotta pull, I'm sorry, I gotta pull the trigger. This is like right up your alley, too. That's so sick, yeah. I kind of like this. Like I like this. I, I like this goblin token. Yeah, he's pretty cute. Actually, like, I'm, I like a lot of this. Do you only stuff. get one token? Yeah, which is weird. That's lame, man. I also kind of like this Goblin Rival Master. No, they're all sweet. Um, you get the Boros Tram for obviously getting Cor these. Cruet as a Valentine's Day present. What do you say? You're getting that for Kerber as a Valentine's Day present? So we could. I don't understand why some of the secret layers are foil and some are... Yeah, like, why are the fairies only foil? Like, like the like... fairy one is the only one that's exclusively in foil and I don't fucking understand. Just make I'm it non-foil so I would, then I can I buy it. I love that Glen... I, I guess I'll just... Not, I only need the Glenolandra, so I guess I'll just buy it by itself, but... But I don't want a foil one. Right. Yeah. Why? So it can be like the one card... Like when my opponent cuts to it, it'll just be the one card that they... That'll, that'll be sticking out because it's my only foil? I play some foils. I'm good, thanks. Just because... I open them. That's a cool story. If bro. I could go to an actual shop, I would trade them in for regular, but you know, COVID. So what are you saying right now? God, I really don't want a third pick an undersea invader. It could be snow covered mountain. Yeah, let's take the snow covered mountain because we might get some frostbites. I think the lands are more important than a common. Lands are more important than a common. We'll probably pick another one of those up at some point. My name's Michael B. I live in the tree. Yeah, you know something tight? What, Michael? So I had that uh, Thai food today for lunch. Get out of here. You had Thai food for lunch? And I had the pineapple fried rice. And it's got like, curry powder on it, so it's like real yellow. So if you get anything on you, it's going to show. I got nothing on me. Oh, white shirt, no less, too. This is also my favorite shirt, currently. I ate real slow and methodical. I should just do that from now on. It's a wild idea, right? Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, this. God, this is a late Vega. I kind of want this Vega, too. Maybe we could splash it. I mean, this land's real good, but so is this. I'm just taking this. Oh, God. I mean, I don't want to be blue-white now because then I have to get rid of both of these. I think we're just going to be... We're just Jeskai. Maybe Jess we can splash it, yeah. The blue red deck does seem good. Oh, it's real good. 
but I'm also concerned with like the free, like the ability, to, like like you could, like we tried the blue, uh, the blue red deck yesterday, and it's just kind of petered off, and like we just didn't get the cards for it, and it was very sad. I think Miss Walker is good. Yeah, seven mana is a lot for the other guy. I mean, blue seems like our, our yeah, this guy sucks. Yeah, that guy goes in any deck. Blue is definitely our. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wait, never mind. I thought Vega might have been a wizard. A bird wizard? Yeah. It's a bird spirit, Michael. I've had bird wizards before. <laughs> oh, yeah? You like bird wizards so much? Name every bird wizard <laughs> ever printed. Yeah, I, I was going to say that. What does Invasion of the Giants do? Scry 2. Thank you! Know. It's not bad. Seems decent. Um, I mean, it's basically Scry 2, try to draw a card. For two mana instead of and one, but it also deals a, two and gives you a cheap one. Yeah, it seems good. Oh, wait, but then there's also Run Ashore, right? Run Ashore is good, but I think we can pick up late, later Run Ashores. We also don't have to play this Vega. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Arctic Avenger with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Atar97. I also didn't see that resub, but I do appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Take a, a small break after the draft. Portion. Oh, God. Here he goes. He's such a little baby, dude. Well, when your disc is on fire. My back disc. I don't think it has anything to do with your disc. It's a nerve issue, not a disc issue. So I don't know why you'd say disc. That's weird. It might actually have something to do with my disc. I'm not sure. Says who? The doctor I went to see a couple years ago. Is it, is it nerve or is it disc, Michael? Well, it's definitely the nerve, but the disc can often cause that issue. Oh. How it's can like the disc? How the convenient. Disc pushes on it to cause the. Yeah. How convenient, issue. Michael. It's actually not convenient. It actually sucks a lot. It sounds really convenient. It's really, you know, being in pain every day. Yeah. Like, you know, when you just get up from bed. Must be nice, Michael. And it takes five minutes and it's excruciating. Not really convenient in any way, shape, or form. Sounds really convenient. There's no upside to it. So I don't, yeah. Must be nice. What's that blue spell? Mean? It's a 1-3. It's actually not terrible. It's probably the only thing we're... So the tapper, but only foretell she is. It's also a wizard. I have no idea. What does a wizard have to do with anything? Because the Agar affects wizards. I guess. I guess when our 1-3 deals yeah. extra damage yeah, to something. Yeah, that's going to be the thing that decides the turn of the tide. It decides the turn of you the tide? Take that big boy. It's either that or this, and it's just... Or sometimes it'll be too less. Oh, boy. When he invades... Oh, boy! You know? Yeah, there you oh, go. There you go. See what I mean? We've seen, like, no good giants in these packs, which is pretty unfortunate. Shining Armor Yoga is actually a terrible idea. With so you're for an aura or an equipment. equipment put them in your hand. Like It's just so meh. I'll take the Master Skull. Oh, see, look, another run ashore. Running so many... Oh, wow, that's a late snow-covered mountain. Oh, wow, and a snow-covered plains? Oh, God. There are basically four specific stretches you can do with this issue, and if you do anything else, you're probably just going to hurt yourself. Avalanche Caller actually seems pretty decent considering the number of snow covered wizards we have. I keep saying that. Got my wizards. Michael, you better count your lucky wizards, buddy. I don't, I don't know any lucky wizards. Yeah. You wouldn't. Hmm. Yeah. Ice Clammers are actually top tier. Ice Clammers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you guys are talking about Smash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this Ice Bind Pillar. That's top tier. And if that snow-covered island comes back, Michael, can you imagine? There's this weird thing in Smash where Ice Clammers at first, you're like, this is a cool character. Then you're like, oh, they suck. And then you get to the level where you're like, oh, they're actually good again because you're really good at it. So it's this weird dynamic. I want to take Demon Bolt. That's good. I play that on a commander deck. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Wow, you're so special. It's only hey, because hey. I don't have a lightning bolt yet. I like but. Alpine Meadow here. Actually, kind of lets us splash this Vega. I don't care about these three. I think Depart and God's Hall Guardian are fine, and I would wouldn't mind either of them coming back. But right now we have one, two, three. We have six Snowlands, five Snowlands. It's pretty good. I think the original is, original is the best Smash Bros. My character is DK. I like a DK. Original is pretty fun. I feel like Melee is my favorite. 
When you say DK, are you referring to the character known as Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong? Yeah. Cernic. Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong and Cernic, the huge herd. Cernic? Yeah. Where did that joke come from? The fake Jeopardy thing? Mm. The Legend of Zorolda? Is that what you're referring to, Michael? Those are different memes, but sure. No, it's not. Danky Kang and Zorolda are from the same one. Is it? Am I getting my memes confused? <laughs> Who is Danky Kang? Who is Princess Zorolda? It was a sad day when I found out those are not real things that happened. Uh, yeah. Was that a sad day? I a feel like that's bit. a reassuring day. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. But how funny. Oh, oh the double Vega? I feel like the ship has sailed, though. But, wait, pack two or three? Pack two. Like, let's be clear. We have zero cards that, that foretell. But it's still a 2-2 flyer for three at the very least. And we could prioritize foretell cards pretty heavily. Like this beyond, Behold the Multiverse. Wow, that is a late multiverse. Wow, 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 wow. wow Kazawi. Also, if you don't, even if you don't play Vega, that card's still great. Turns out drawing two cards and speed is very good. What are you saying right now? I don't even know, man. Translate it for me, Michael. <sighs> I can't. I actually like a lot of the secret layers, ironically. Jeez. Why is it ironic? I like the... Because I, I feel like I, I don't order many secret layers. So it's funny that I like, like... I like the Titan... The two Titan ones. The land yeah, one. Um, and the... I like the uh, black is magic one. As long as not as it's unfoiled... Although I might only get the second Giants one that comes with the... How do these people always have two Vegas? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I guess I figured it out. I don't really need an Uro, and he's not really that great in Commander. And Frost Titan's not really, not really that great in Commander. Oh, Augur Graven. That's also a foretell card. Love it. But Gravefather... And Inferno Dad? Oh, very good. It's really weird. I, you know what? I understand why they did it, right? Because, like, Croxa is red and black, so you stick the red and black Titan with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's that's a nice late land. Um, Uro is blue and green, so you stick the blue and green Titans with him. It just seems really weird that there's no Sun Titan. All four of the Titans have representation oh, right. they didn't... with the showcase borders except Sun because Titan. Because they don't like the color white anymore, okay? They don't give white card things... <laughs> That is weird that they left... The, the, it's weird they did all the Titans, except for one of the original Titans, and they just left it out. Was there another alternate for Titan? Recently? No. Not the same, but just in general? No. Hmm. Well, like I said, the reason is because Euro, Euro has the blue and green ones. Croxa has the red and black ones. There is no... Right, but why just exclude that card completely when it's part of the Titan cycle? Because there's no white Theros block Titan. So hmm. what do you put it in? Do you put it in one and make one have four cards, one have three cards? You cut it in half and you have to buy both. <laughs> No, you, you <laughs> like no, 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 wait, no. They they give you a coupon in each, and if you you have two, oh, you got to redeem them both. In, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea, actually. It's because Sunny T burned your throat. It's right? actually not the worst idea, to be honest. Because otherwise, you just it's literally just weird to not have like it's the one Titan. It's, it's very unfulfilling. Wow, look at all these. Lands. I can also imagine people who, like have a sweet commander deck where they're like, I want to play all the Titans, and it's the only one you can't get in that cool art. It's the literally the only one. Are there any alternate prints of something? Curious. Uh, there's like one, I think. I, I I'm gonna wager that the Sun promo Titan has when he was two. Released. Oh, it has, I think there's three arts, maybe. Oh, I do remember that on one art. Oh, I like a Mistwalker. First of all, no one plays Sun Titan. No, not in Commander, buddy. Commander Sun Titan's bananas. Oh wow! Look at that. You know what this is? A foretell card. All right, let's go to view all versions. Where is it? View oh, all prints. Yeah. Wow, that's a late bound in gold, too. Jeez. Oh, another foretell card. A that oh, guy's playable. Play wow. Well. Oh, a little Bergy. Bergy. Cheese Bergy. I feel like it's definitely Bergy. All right, so yeah, there's this pre release one. Okay, I do remember that one. There's this one, which is only foil. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then right. there's just the OG. So there's three different arts for Sun Titan. I like the gold boy. Two of them are only foils. <laughs> so I think it's got to be Bergy. Well, the thing about sarcasm on, on a text space is it's very hard to pick up on, so. 
Ooh, another demon bolt. Also, these are foretelling. Oh, that's great. This should make a titan that's like WW search for three plane search for a plane gain three WW escape five six sack if no escape. That yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, that's actually a very white ability. Yeah, that actually isn't terrible. The gain three life is is a little redundant because you. It's weird that it would be on both Euro and this Titan. Yeah, they could do something else, but it's a good baseline. I like search for a planes. Oh wow, third demon bolt! Holy crap! Also, they recently did Sun Titan dirty for Commander because they printed Savine's Reclamation, which isn't a creature, but it only costs three mana to do its ability and its flashback. Oh, I literally have a, a Reclamation in my cube. Cards very good. It's very good. Yes, I agree with you. Oh, a Dwarven Hammer is very good. Also, the more degenerate the format is, the better rec Reclamation is. What's happening It's here? like the only good white card they've printed for Commander in a long time. Oh, well, they recently did that Tutor. A new one. That was good. The white Tutor spell. Uh, oh, Volatile Fjord seems great. On color land. Sure. We also have a ton of removal. We have three Demon Bolts, a Bound in Gold. Snow-Covered Mountain. Wow. Taking it. Crush the weak, though. Deals two damage to each creature. Do we need it? How ice-themed are we? Why did it say this expired? I don't understand. How ice-themed are we? I mean, we have Ice-Bound Pillar. I don't know. It's it. probably this. I'm thinking, yeah. I think it's this. It's just very good. I actually, I like this this guy. I guess we already have one, though. No, no. Whatever, it's still the pick. <laughs> what? Wow, double ice bind pillar? That is insanely late. Yeah, I mean, We are good. literally the only people in snow in this. This is a giant, and it's a 4-4. Yeah, we're not taking that guy. Man. All of these packs have had snow lands in them. I mean, it's no ice manipulator, but it's damn close. You can't target lands, but it's a mana cheaper, so. They don't like when you interact with lands these days, though. It's kind of a big no no for design. Which I don't actually mind, because, like, if you like destroying people's lands, it's not, in, it's not a fun environment. No one likes that. You know what else is a no-no? Hmm. No, Bradley. And the no no lady. Can't the, remember her name. The no no man and the no no lady. I'll take Rune. You know it's high quality when it takes a moment to load the image. <laughs> it does look really sick. Look at that frost peak yeti. I wish this yeti was a giant. It's not. It's so dynamic. Oh, Craven Hulk, though. Oh, yeah, it's great. Man, those are beautiful. You're beautiful. Thank you. It's true. You think we can get one more snow-covered planes on the wheel? I'm going to take Cinderheart Giant out. That guy sucks my b-hole. This deck looks sick. Oh, we got this Bergy. When I go to McDonald's, I make sure to get a Bergy. I don't, though, because I don't eat... Oh, it was like one time when I was instead. playing Commander and it was like a casual game. Like, you know, I'm talking like the decks were like five to sevens. And someone played Blood Moon and I'm like, what? well, what's going on right now? Why? You should only be playing Blood Moon if you're playing CDH. That's a real, I cannot believe you've done this moment. Okay. I mean, luckily in the, in, in the one situation I did have a counter spell, but if, he, if I didn't have that, literally every other player would not be able to play it except for that one player for the entire game. Man is looking real, real juice. One, much, two, anyway. three, four, five, six, seven, eight snowlands. I'm, I'm here for it. If you want to play punish non basics in commander without being a jerk, I recommend something like Price your, of Progress. Your daddy. I'm gonna take out one depart. I don't think it's great. We have a ton of removal. Or an anthem answer. I think everything else is good. So we just got to play 41. Unfortunately, 42. It's too bad. We ended up picking a lot of Fortel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Fortel cards. Seems pretty good. Two Vegas. You could also play the Blood Sun, the one that's like, it makes it so the land still tap for mana, but they don't. They can't do special things. 
God, he's That's still talking about commander. What do we got? One. How many? How many giants? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that's enough for invasion. It. Yeah. I could probably be convinced to play 41, though. So this is 4, 5. Six. How many white sources do you have? So that's what I'm counting right now. Okay. 6. Uh, blue sources, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Red, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6, 6, 7. Can you just cut Berserker Shield Mate, cut a planes, and like make your mana base way better? Berserker's shield mate? Uh, Bezker, Bezker's <laughs> shield mate? Any card's good, but... I mean, yeah. I don't have any two drops is the problem. I really don't want to, like... Actually, I guess we have a shit ton of, like... Yeah, I think you're fine. It just seems, like... Unreliable. I mean, it does drop us to 13 creatures, plus Dwarven Hammer, which is 14. That seems like plenty. I guess that is fine. Um, three planes. Three is lands. Oh, I like that one. This is nice. It's actually pretty dope. Michael, who's the artist for this? I, I don't know. You gotta, why don't you read it? Tythonu X. Who? Then then I thought X. <laughs> you do it. You do it. Michael, the challenge is for you, not for me, okay? Just be an adult about it. The challenge is yours. Alright. Thank you. Let's do it. Deck seems good. I'm a fan. Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to Jimbo the sarcophagus. <laughs> Uh, you had so he did. He added a ton of extra letters. I may have. I may have. My name is Michael. I may have done that. Hey, hmm. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. This is what's known as a sneakerino. If we let's draw a foretell card that we can drop on turn two. There it is. Affinity, always there. One time. Affinity is the hero we need. Do we deserve? I think so. I don't think so. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, I gotta go take that break. Goodbye, Michael. You guys get to watch Michael and all his pain get up. Whoa. I stopped for a moment and regret the decision to get up. I just think about like, is it worth it? Well, no one can hear you, so. And I turned it off, so double whammy. He's really trying to consider if it's worth getting up right now. You want me to give you a little tickle? <laughs> no. You say back it up a little bit? Oh, father is not doing well. This is great. Now we can Demon Bolt, draw a card, next turn play Bergstrider. I feel like we're living the high life. Guys, he made it. Kind of. He's really meandering along. We'll be back in the high life again. Me too. Hmm. I feel like he didn't do a great job with the, with the green screen there, but, you know, that's okay. What are you going to do? God, drawing a card? Fuck. Vega's already doing some work. Okay. Well, no blocks, I guess. But he did not fix the curtain. Double Colossal Plow? Oh my god, what am I missing here? That's pretty ridiculous. Oh. 
double plow. Pretty sure I'm bouncing both of these things. Uh, put on top of the library uh, this guy, because I want you to choose whether you want to keep it or not. And this guy's just going in your hand. Is playing this as a 3 3. Bergy. I mean, the horn is good, but they're at 10 and they have no, no guys on their board, so. Ring into Courser, maybe? And if they played it the other way, they could actually play Corsair and then play the ring for two and then activate the ring to equip the pick. But, uh, you know. If they want to trade, sure, that's totally fine. Two cards in hand. Not, not ideal. But that'll do. Horn is very good, but winning the game because you have enough pressure to kill your opponent. Also pretty good. Um, do we have anything to... We have an invoke, don't we? Was that the last draft? I believe it was. Okay, well, we'll just play like this. Invoke would be nice, but... I mean, the thing is, I don't think they do that, right? Because they trade with Vega, and then we have a 4-4 that can't attack. Like, having an extra creature on the board there is just really what you need. Don't get me wrong. I think the horn is great, but I, I, I'm you got to keep your eyes on the prize here. I'd have cast Bribery. <laughs> oh, boy. Snap keep.
So we're going to go this into this guy. Oh, I do like a Mistwalker. Oh, uh, the black line is from the green screen. You'll be okay. I believe in you. Oh, they're doing it! Wow. That's pretty good. And they did nothing with it. So if we put this on here, they're left with an 06. They can't do anything except if they get another plow. If we put it on here, they're left with a plow. I'll put on the plow. We saw two plows in the first game, but I mean they didn't play a second. They didn't play anything with their three mana after attacking last turn, which is really weird. Okay, 1-7. Coming through. Oh, I like Vega here into Depart. That's pretty good. We'll be back. I'm just gonna bounce this guy. And then we get to play a land. That's pretty cool. No attacks. Elvin Bow. Sure. Okay, so we can just bounce the token and the ox. That seems good. I'm no expert, but... Uh, put in the library this guy, bounce this guy. I mean, I assume they have plus one, plus one hexproof here, but... Saves one guy. It's still two for one, right? Sammy Agar. <laughs> oh, Christopher, I'm so proud of you sometimes. There's these moments where I'm like, God, I'm glad that's my BFF. So proud. Chris, does Card Kingdom, out of curiosity, does Card Kingdom have any policies for like when cards are banned or restricted? Like if I bought a card from you guys and it gets banned within like a week, is that a thing? Because I know some places have that. I know Cool Stuff does, I think like CFP does. No attacks. I don't want to ch like if I attack with Agar, then we have to block with Vega, and I don't really want to do that. 
They're in a position where they can actually equip Elven Bow, give it plus one, plus one, and then crew. No, they can't crew the plow. We have a bound on the plow. Okay. Interesting, Chris. I thought you would have known. God, I expect so much from you. Unbelievable. I guess if I expect so much from you, it's kind of believable that you might not know one thing. That's totally. <sighs> cool. Doom scar, huh? Well, see you later. We're holding this. If we draw another Vega, then we just get to draw a free card. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, don't like that. I think we're just blocking this, unfortunately. Wow. I can't believe they put this back in their library. They put it on top instead of the bottom. Like, what? Why would you do that? not going to take another six. Then we take another six next turn. I work in customer service, but that would be relevant info to now. It ain't relevant to my job. I try not to delve too much into my brain. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's a, it's a sizable company. <laughs> See, now we're going to do this because I want to be able to... Uh... Oh, Avalanche Collar and a Fjord? I kind of want both of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll just keep both. Yeah, Card Kingdom has exploded in the past. I, I, you, since, it's, since it's been a thing, I guess. We're just going to play this, and then we're going to play Berg Strider and tap down their stupid ox, I guess. Let's have two cards so far, because next turn we can 2-2 we can two, two, activate, 1-2 activate, and then we'll play Fjord. Nice. Thankfully, we have four... Snowlands, which is a good amount. <laughs> Okie dokie. So they can double block a land. We kill this guy. And then we can play Fjord next time we have three. Sure. This is wild, man. That's interesting. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's 
Can I get haste? Trample. Hmm. Actually, I mean, like, they just go block here, block here if we attack with two, right? So I guess we're just playing Mistwalker. Do I have full control on? I was like, why is it asking me to auto pay? I'm like, Yeah, Card Kingdom is friggin' wonderful. Double Ox. Nice. Okie dokie. Okay, see, now we're going to put Bergie on the horn. Get her on the horn. <laughs> we can also, now we can block with uh, Berg Strider and a land. This guy got double reach. Oh, boy. I mean, we can attack with this with the with the hammer and make it like enough to kill this, but then it also a it dies and b like they could just move any of their elven bows to other things, which makes it a lot harder. So, I mean, being able to turn any land into like two more cards is pretty good. Yeah, double reach means they can't block flyers because they've just gone too high. Okay, I'm moving that guy over. You got it. I'm at 13. That's not ideal. Well. That guy's big. Okay, well, we're not discarding that. They can have one, two... They have four blockers. We can make two lands and this guy and this guy, right? So... One, two, three... This makes it four, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't like the idea of just losing five, five, though. I guess it's fine. Oh, I guess we're not losing it. It's not, it doesn't die, right? It's still two, one. We can also attack for like a million, right? It's 
not great when they have this guy in play, though. Yep. Man, this is a grindy game, dude. How much time do they have? 17? We have 19? It feels like it's been way longer than this. still trade here that is important one one two three we can't pump it though oh that's unfortunate One, two, three. So we can go one, two, make this a thing. Block, block. Shoot. Ah. This is really frustrating. Sure, you got it. I think we're just chumping here. Uh, auto pay with those two. Yeah, that's fine. I think this actually turns out pretty okay for us. We get to keep Avalanche Caller. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Why does this guy survive? Didn't I block here with a 2 1 and the 4 4? Did I just miss block? Uh, you cannot double pump a 4 4 on a 5 7. No, that would be a 6. Two. Cool. I only put the two one on it. Wonderful. Cool. So it's likely I'm going to lose this game because I just literally misclicked. That sounds cool. Cool. Putting two fours on the plow. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Ah. <sighs> Seven nine. Yep, that's a big fucking deal. I mean, if it wasn't so fucking convoluted when you when you make blockers on a complicated board, like that would be great. But it literally looks like a fucking like it looks like Charlie's conspiracy theory map from fucking Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So that's cool. So this just makes it a 6-6, six, six, then we just gotta block this guy, and now it's not worth it. I mean, I'd rather just chump block with a land here. Wow, that's so bad. Like, they would have literally an 0-6, an 0-6, and a 1-1. One, one.
So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. We're literally like one shy from. Yep. Seems good. Five of the last six cards we've seen have been fucking lands. One, two, activate, one, two, activate, one, two. So this is this is a bunch of... Yeah, this is actually, I mean... Should be enough if they don't have, like, a trick. We just go, like... No, maybe it's not, actually. <laughs> it's, like, one shy. I guess we can take a hit, but... Two attackers. Let's see what's going on. Let's target this one. Let's target this one too. So we have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But we can't distribute it in such a way that like gets them all off the board. Like we can literally put seven on this. And then we have eight on this. And we can put their avalanche caller in front, I guess. And they can kill, like, one land, one avalanche caller. Yikes. So six. I don't think we can do this. So this is three, four, six, seven, eight. No, this guy has to block here, unfortunately. Okay, like, this is so fucking convoluted. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so seven here. And meanwhile, the timer's ticking down. Four, four, and one. Cool. So we lose our whole board. I mean, it's not terrible that we traded land, avalanche caller, guardian. This has to be just worse than like. <coughs> Maybe it's not. <laughs> I'm mean, four four flyers got to be decent, right? But meanwhile, this guy's like a like a one eight, so we have to pump this four times, which is actually impossible. Meanwhile, I think we have nine cards in our deck. I actually don't know how we're gonna win this game when they're at thirty and we have nine cards, and they have double reach, enchantment. Like,
that's not terrible. Hmm, interesting. How much time do they have? 13 minutes to our 13 minutes. So we're about the same. Really? That's fascinating. Thirteen, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, sure. Okay, now we're talking. We have six cards. Like, I don't even know if I want to use this, to be quite honest. Oh, I guess we should have played land to keep it. I guess it doesn't matter. If they want to, if they want to attack for two, I'll take two, and then they can... This is wild, dude. This is incredible. Just get the plow back, I guess. Yep. Wow. I mean, thankfully we have Pillar, so that's something. Hmm, hmm. Although I don't know how we're getting past the 210 with double reach, so. I guess things like this are how we're going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, huh? So we have one, two, three, four. Play this, play this, keep up pillar and that's kind of where we want to be. Oh, I really like that they crewed it now. That's great. I was going to tap it, but now they're, like, just flat up letting me do it. They have four cards in their hand. I have no idea what their four cards are. Never mind. 
guess we figured out one of those four cards. Five, six. I mean, we can deal nine damage. That's pretty impressive. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. Well, you know, maybe. We can tap this and this, and then we still take two. I guess we block with with vague. Uh, yeah, all right. No, mist is a blue. That was actually the most perfect draw you could have had. That's insane. Wow. That's wonderful. Pass to attackers. Huh. Okay, this could be the thing. Wow, did we just win this game? No, there's no way they have four cards. Sure. We get to tap three things down. What? Wow. That's amazing. What in the earth, though? That was ridiculous. Actually, hold on. Okay. Here's a picture of my puppy. Let's see it. It's loading. Keep loading, 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 loading. It's not. It's still spinning. Nothing yet. Is my internet down? Is Michael B. taking up too much bandwidth? Oh god, nothing is loading right now, so... Oh, okay, something loaded. We did it. This puppy ain't loading, though. Michael, you want to let these boys out? Oh, it's that one dude. Draw. What? What's happening right now? What? I don't know what that means. If they conceded, why didn't I get a win? That's not a draw, right? Like... Sure, Garner, I don't think you know how draws work, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. We can, we got two, four, oh, that's, see, that's, see, that's nice. 
two Fortel cards, a Bergy. I mean, this is a good curve. It got better. And I'm probably just going to play Bergy next turn as a 3 3. I guess we could play Raven into Calamity Bear. Is this just a better 5 5? Probably. Or not a 5 5, a 5 drop. Because next time we can just go Calamity Bear, which is pretty good. Oh, what up, Captain Bean? Uh, does Black Green play out aggressive? If not, I lean horn. <laughs> Bokey dokey. Get my calamity bearer. Harold. Wow, they hit an elf. What am I missing? I mean, do they just have plus one, plus one? So just two for one then? Sure. I kind of like 3 3 Behold the Multiverse here. I mean, we have a good amount of cards here. We have two here. We have two here. So I don't think... Oh. That's pretty good. Sure. So one, two... This costs two... This costs one, so it's one, two, three, and then Craven Hulk costs three. Okay, we can do that. And they only have two elves attacking, so neg two, neg two is the extent of what they're getting. Yeah, I don't really want them getting guys back. Uh, how is the 3-3 likely to die? They only have two creatures. They have two elves. Whenever an elf you control attacks, a creature gets neg one, neg one. This is getting... This is getting it gets two. Uh, and we have one... Cool bottom both. Uh, we have one, two... Oh, we can only play one. Oh, that's really sad. I I did a bad manas. Well, that is unfortunate. It's one, two, three. We can play this. We didn't have enough mana to kick it. I guess we just put this guy in, in orbit. Ugh. Yeah, that's good. Make sure you let the world know that I punted. I mean, we're not blocking with this, so. <sighs> yeah. We have no cards in hand, but we do have to deal with Raven's wings. Oh, boy. So, four...
Okie dokie. We have one turn left to deal with a flying. Thank you! Well, that does it, I guess. Thanos with the resub. What up, buddy? Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. So now they just put the Raven's Claws on the bear. And we have no p positive attacks here. That's pretty good. Solid 5-5 solid five five top deck. If that was a land, we'd probably be in great shape. Yep. Boy, this is... I'm gonna put the hammer on here, right? And then it's a five. Do it. Wow, how did we even? They have two blockers. Wow, I am surprised. We have a run ashore. I don't think we want a second run ashore. Having ways to deal with artifacts and enchantments in this format is really good. We have two icebind pillars and a bound in glory and four de three demon bolts. Like, I feel like we have a lot of removal. <laughs> um, we already have a depart in the main deck, along with all the other removal that I just mentioned. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. I like Augury of into Agar. That's nice. How about a two drop, right? Yeah, that's good. Turn three Agar, turn four Ice Bind Pillar with the ability to activate. That's pretty good. Just that guy, huh? No blocks. No 
Kill three. Return a land or an elf. Get a land. We got it. Oh, I like that. I like it better if we have white mana. So next time we can play Raven and Mistwalker, or we can play Raven and tap something. This time we can tap something, so. Seems good. Like I was saying, having ways to deal with artifacts in enchantment format in this format is very good. Like you do. Like you do. Gotti. Oh, good. The dogs are barking. Take six here, block here, and just get rid of this guy. That seems fine. Oh, white seems fantastic here. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we can play Vega, play Augury Raven. Draw a card, keep up a snow mana. Draugr Recruiter is not great, but I also don't want them to just get back their things. Sure. Now they don't have the mana to do that? That's interesting. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of this thing. Yeah, now we're definitely gonna... So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We can play both of these, but then we don't get to tap anything. Hmm. Could also just play Craven Hulk. They have one card in hand. Wait, why didn't they get back two creatures? Why didn't they get back both their creatures? Oh, I guess because they, they need the creature to to actually have this pop. Yep, that's unfortunate. That's really annoying. Yeah, 
Yep. Now they get to move it over. Cool. So they have four attacking creatures. Oh, we get to draw something here. Cool. Like that. So we just attack with this guy, draw another card, right? They have one, two, three, four, five attackers. We can take one and two and kill something. Okay. Demon Bolt doing the Lord's work here. I really want to... How do you go to beginning of combat? I don't want to stop after attackers. I want to stop before attackers are declared, but in the beginning of combat, so they can't re-equip. How do I do that? Thank you! Click the axes... There, where, where? <laughs> it's like, stop on their first main, stop on their second main. When it says begin C, I, I see a sword, uh, stop after blocker, stop after damage. I don't think I, I I don't think it would have done that. I think we would have shot this guy. They would have been able to move it because they've done that before. Yes, can't do it now. Clearly, that is correct. Where, there are no. I don't know what axes you guys are talking about. I I, I really wish my timer wasn't going down as frequently as it is. Um. So this guy's five, this is six. I think we're just killing this guy. Drawing two cards there was pretty OP. We have three blockers, they have three attackers. Seems good. Good game. 2 0. Seems good.
<laughs> Regal Leosaur. All right, let's see if we can 3-0. Pastry Cannon, good games. Good games. Yeah, this seems fine. Turn two, behold. Turn three, Vega. Oh yeah, like it. Two ice spine pillar is a great, is a good deal. But you definitely, you definitely managed to get rid of him. So. Behold, the multiverse drawing you three cards of the Vega is pretty good. If you were to answer this, but any time I'm playing the lot, live the dream cube. The live the dream cube is up. Oh my god, it's my favorite cube. Oh dear god. I'm updating Magic Online literally as we speak. I literally opened it as soon as you said that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. So long, Kaldheim Drafts. I mean, I guess it's just Agar, right? And then next turn we got Bog Stridey. Or we could literally... Be we don't, I don't want to Behold right now because we have things to do. It might not have been until next week and then they might have changed it. Demon Bolt kills that dude dead. Yep, that's obnoxious. Hold on. Magic online. Except. Oh my god, it is up. Oh my god, that's exciting. They have three cards. We have essentially five cards, plus whatever we draw, so we have six cards. Oh, this is actually great, because we get to tap this guy down. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on top. Oh, boy. Did we just bounce both of these? Because that's pretty funny. I guess we Bergstrider tap this guy, attack for three... Because this is going to be better when they have better creatures on board, for sure. You got it. Free attack, buddy. Just a good game and then concede. Yeah, all right. See you later, buddy. What is this one? This is not This is not a great one. I guess you get to kill my Agar. Who? Oh, my God. Who cares?
One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the comment. Get in there, Dr. Burvington. I think it's just three, three, and three, three. Or one, four, rather. But we have two lands in hand. Is that going to get us through? Each player discards a card. I guess we're discarding a land. You got it. We're gonna we're gonna be full robot if they play uh make us discard one. That ain't it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we basically just get to bounce both of these guys, attack for lethal. Uh put it into its owner's library, this guy, bounce this guy. Oh, what up, Connor Ryan? Long time no see, buddy. <sighs> don't drink, don't smoke. What do we do? Don't drink, don't smoke. What do we do? Uh, yeah, again, this hand looks good. I will keep it. Super busy with work for like years. He's been busy for years. Which is possible. It's not. It's not out of the question. I don't know if I want to run Avalanche Caller out there because they do have a good amount of removal. So. Pretty good. I don't really care about this that much, I don't think. Instant sorcery or foretell a card from your hand. No attacks. I assume we're going to take three here. Okay, so we can actually tap this, this, and this and keep this up. Let's go. One, two, three. Alpine Meadow. And then we can play Bergstrider next turn. Cheese Bergstrider. Unfortunately. Thankfully, we can add mana with this, so. Um. Let's go mountain, part the realm foretold. Find this guy in gold. And then we don't have to attack in anything. And then we can just tap down the Tus Tuskegee Firewalker. Seems 
seems good. Use your mana. I'm actually not going to attack here. I don't think one point is worth it when we can actually play Depart the Realm off of this. And if they want a two for one, oh, this is actually pretty decent. That was not terrible. Let's just play second pillar. And then we can tap both our guys down. See, now we'll attack. If we can just start drawing lands, I think we're in great shape. Because we can put Bergstrider and tap a guy down. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's rare that I ask for lands and then don't get them. But we're still putting pressure on the board. Okay, so I'm thinking now, I think I know what you're talking about. When the swords expand, when they're no longer there, we are in the beginning of combat. I think that's what, what I'm figuring out here. Still no lands, huh? They have four cards available to them. So we can actually go one, two, Raven. That's so Raven. Avalanche Caller. And still have double pillars up. So watch this. We're going to go. Swords are going to expand. And then we're going to go to the beginning of combat. Okay. You got it. Swords have expanded. Did I ever mention that you look like the alcoholic younger brother of Santa? Imagine of image of you in a dirty Santa hat and well, oh, well that's, a, that's a thing I guess. I think we should have attacked with Harbinger there but you know what man? That's life. Guys, having double Icy Manipulator is pretty good. I don't know if you guys knew that. Hmm. There's a land. Demon Bolt? Okay. I kind of don't even want to play Burks right here. I just have no reason to do it. Like, it, it, it leaves us open to demon. Like, this is a big dude. And, uh... Hmm. Sure. Don't pick the wrong one.
interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can just play Bergstrider, tap this guy down forever. Cause you got cheeseburgers on the brain. I mean, this guy just coming back, like, it gets this out of their hand. This guy comes back, doesn't kill anything else, so it's not really a huge deal. And, like, we're not going to be able to play around plus two, plus oh. Like, I'd rather get this back than, like, one of these guys, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a gentleman. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, I should have totally played that first. Yep. Wow, I feel terrible now. Those are giants. We could have attacked for two more. We could just kill him next turn. Uh, I have one card in hand. Sure. They're dead, right? They're a hundred percent dead, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can pump three times three, four, five. They go to they go to one. Three blockers. We can bounce two of them. Yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> we don't have to play our spell. I'm like, we got like one, two, three, four, five, six. We can bounce. Bounce to tap one with with ice pillar and then attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and they go to one so i don't think we could have won that turn but apparently we still we still can either way thank you guys for watching really appreciate it 3-0 is a, is a good time claim that prize so we spent 1500 on drafts today and we got 3000 back so we basically broke even but we got seven packs let's open some packs here did we go 2-1 or 1-2 in the first draft? I actually don't remember. Haunted Voyage. Haunting Voyage. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head over to twitch.tv slash franklapore. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, it's one of the primary ways that I get to support myself and live in my home and eat food. So, I hope you guys... Uh, Hope you guys will consider it. Hope you guys will slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.